Welcome to the Answers for Elders radio show. Meet the trusted experts who will give you straight answers and will help guide you on the path of later life care. Now, here's your host, founder, caregiver, and CEO, Suzanne Newman. And welcome back, everyone, to Answers for Elders Radio Network. And we are talking to Kevin Church, who is the Chief Science Officer of Athera Pharma, that are and the breakthroughs, making breakthroughs every day. And I know I'm not supposed to say that, sorry, but I love you guys in the cure for Alzheimer's disease. And we're very excited to present as much information as we can possible. Uh, Athera has a lot of podcasts on our website about different doctors that are on the forefront of obviously looking forward to a cure. And Kevin, it all starts with you in the lab and you guys put together um, clinical trials. So Tell us a little bit about if you're a son or daughter of someone that has early stages, Alzheimer's or dementia or Parkinson's or anything like that, that's brain disease, <clears throat> what happens in a trial? Yeah, so there's so there's a lot of different trials um, at different stages, anywhere from what we call phase one, which is the, the first time it's tested in humans, uh, mm-hmm. up to phase three, which are generally very large trials. Um, and as the last step prior to FDA or, or applying for FDA approval. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's many different trials. There's there's actually uh, some statistics or I think are interesting. There's 143 drugs in Alzheimer's development right now in clinical trials. So 143 wow. unique drugs. So there's a lot of activity in this space. There's a lot of trials and different types of trials, different lengths. And so, you know, it's a really, uh, I would uh, if anyone is interested in trials, you know, talking to their doctor or neurologist and determining what's right for them um, and going to clinicaltrials.gov. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, our trials are about six months, um, but trials in Alzheimer's range from about six months up to a year and a half, mm-hmm. depending on the type of treatment and the stage of the disease. Um, and so typically, Clinical trials, I'm speaking in general terms, not any mm-hmm. specific trial, Right. Uh, would be, you know, periodic visits. So there'd be um, going to a, a trial center. It's usually a hospital mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, meeting with a doctor who, who administers the tests, typically cognitive tests or other assessments in Alzheimer's, and then meeting maybe monthly, maybe every other month, mm-hmm. um, you know, traveling back to that facility um, over the course of the study. And then of course, receiving, uh, the experimental treatment or placebo, uh, throughout the course of the study. So that's a typical, Mm -hmm. uh, very high level look at clinical trials. Sure. Sure. And obviously as a care partner, our, our son or daughter, um, you're involved in the trial as well with your loved one. Are you not? Absolutely. I think in Alzheimer's, the caregiver is essential. Mm-hmm. Um, to be in, to be involved and committed to the trial as well, and and I'll just say as you know, as someone from the industry, um, re- really admire and appreciate the commitment of the patients and the caregivers because it is a commitment. It's a time commitment, um, and you know I think I'm always encouraged or <clears throat> um, I've always really appreciated. I've heard this in several news interviews, you know, not uh, just in general about clinical trials. Is that well, it might not help me but it could help someone else. And I think that's, yeah. that's a, an amazing viewpoint. and something that, that us in the drug development world really appreciate because we could not bring therapies, you know, new therapies, or we wouldn't be able to attempt to bring new therapies uh, to patients without their help, mm-hmm. without their uh, participation. Right. And I think what's really important with that is, is the fact that, you know, I really believe that there will be a cure someday. And I've seen just in my time in the industry, how much more we know. And I think that's in, like you're saying, that's in testament to individuals that have stepped forward and say, you know what, I'm willing to at least make my life count if it doesn't work for me. But the great thing is it is working for a lot of people right now. And that's the exciting part, Um, you know, in understanding a little bit more about what we've learned in the process, um, you know, I'm loving the results that's going on in some of these trials across the United States that we hear about. And that's got to be exciting for you, is it not, Kevin? Absolutely. Yeah. I think the, you know, there's a lot of, 
excitement in Alzheimer's research. Um, I think I mentioned before, the first time in a long time, I think with the recent approval of the anti-amyloid uh, lecanemab, um, that really um, was exciting for a lot of people because it showed mm -hmm. you can get a drug approved in Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and there is a path forward. And yeah. we think it's uh, you know similar to the explosion in kind of oncology therapeutic mm -hmm. 20, over the last 20 years, we think uh, neuro, you know, Alzheimer's is the next frontier that, yeah. that could really make a lot of progress. Fabulous. So how do people get involved in your trial? What's the website again? Um, so I think it's the, it's lift-adtrial.com. And again, talk to your doctor or go to clinicaltrials.gov for, for any trial. Perfect. And Kevin and I, we're going to talk a little bit about locations, how you can get involved in trials right after this. We at Answers for Elders thank you for listening. Did you know that you can discover hundreds of podcasts in our library on senior care? So visit our website and discover our decision guides that will help you also navigate decision making. Find us at AnswersForElders.com.